dreamer and make-believer. Welcome to S. McPherson's Madhouse. In today's video, I'm doing my writing journey number 28. So I currently have a lot of on-the-go projects, which is not like me, but I mean they're all in different stages. One of them is a brainstorming, just beginning, plotting out retelling, which I'm going to tell you more about. Another one is a non-fiction project, my first non-fiction project, which of course you already know about, but I'll tell you more about that. And then of course I have my second book in my last series, plus the original series, plus Ashes of Legends, which, you know, has been an ongoing thing. Uh, so let's begin. I'm going to start with my non-fiction project, which is 365 degrees, or the long title is How to Transform Your Life, 365 degrees. So that beauty has officially gone on pre-order last week. I am so excited. So it is finally available for people to order, but of course it is not releasing until November 26th. So I am still putting together the final touches, I have an audio that is going with it, which I'll tell you more about in a second, but yes, I have an audio that's going with it, so that needs to be arranged and all these things need to be put... <laughs> All these things need to be put together, but basically it is coming together. So I'm really looking forward to this. It is full of different activities because I love doing things every day to like, you know, better my spiritual well-being and mental well-being and all that stuff. But every day, I've done it for about three years now, and I've always been like, okay, what to do now? And I'll browse YouTube for something to listen to, or I'll look at, you know, a book and like read a passage and stuff like that. So it would be so nice to just have a book that says, do this today, do that today, think this today, think that today. And, you know, oh, what can you see here? What can you see there? Oh, think about this, visualize that, la 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 la. So basically, I have decided to just put that in a book. So yes, very excited to get How to Transform your life 365 degrees out into the hands of people. I'm also doing a paperback version because what I'm going to do in the perfect paperback version is put lines in it so people can just write there but you know sometimes you need more paper sometimes you need less. I'm ho hoping to put enough pages in it but it is already 365 pages because it's 365 degrees and you do a certain thing every day. And a few people have said okay so it's 365 days so you do it at January 1st and then no you do not wait to do it January 1st you start it doesn't matter when you start you just start it's not related to the months of the year or anything like that just start everything will flow for your days and there are monthly challenges but again if you start on the 5th of November it will end on the 5th of December, like that's just your monthly challenge. But yes, I am super excited about that, including the audio companion. So the audio companion is not the audio book, it is an audio companion, so I'm calling that 365 degrees companion, and that is basically me, me, myself, and I, recording affirmations and visualization scenes and basically the stuff that I have been listening to for the past three years through uh, YouTube and other mediums, basically me doing my own with the help of a voice editor or a sound engineer, that is the word. Aside from all that gloriousness of 365 degrees, I am also working on a retelling, which if you follow me on Instagram and Facebook or my newsletter, then you already know about it. I have not officially confirmed what it is um, a retelling of, but I will now tell you the clue line that I'm giving to everybody. So here is the clue line. Pecker had been 15 years old for 16 years. Ba, ba, ba. So that is the clue line. Can you figure out what retelling I am working on? I'm having lots of fun diving into that world, but like I say, that's the very early stages. I brainstormed the whole book out, and I'm now on chapter three of just handwriting it out because I like to handwrite the first draft. I don't necessarily handwrite the whole thing, and sometimes I just do little notes, but I usually like to handwrite the whole thing, just the first draft, and then now that I got this dictation thing, so I got this dictation thing for free. It's called Dictation for Microsoft Word. Now, it's not always perfect, but 90% of the time it gets correct what I'm saying so I could say this and it would type it out for me So I love to handwrite the first draft then record it back onto the computer And then as I'm recording it back I of course I'm making tweaks and changes so it becomes the second draft But I'm not typing it out I'm just speaking it out and then I can write out the third draft and each time as we all know writing is rewriting So each time I write it talk it doodle it, whatever, it gets better and better. My third project is of course Dark Saints Academy 2, which is called Into the Dim. Dum, dum, dum. For those of you who have read Dark Saints Academy 1, The Soul Catcher, then you know what Into the Dim is. Yeah, it's as bad as it sounds, for those of you that have read book one. And if you haven't read book one, Into the Dim, the dim is not a good place. You don't want to go to the dim. I am now working on the third draft. I'm going to do one more draft after this. It's going to release on December 3rd. Woo! 
It is not yet on pre-order, but it is going on pre-order very soon. As soon as it goes on pre-order, I will of course be letting you guys know. And if you haven't read book one yet, then go and pick up a copy of book one. I will link it below. I can't wait to hear what you think about the world, about the characters, and just about the things that happen. The fourth and final project that I have ongoing is one we all know, say it with me now, Ashes of Legend! Woo! So this project has been going on for, what, two years now, guys? I don't even know. And it's gone through agents, and it's gotten feedback, and it's come back, and I've done this, and I've done that. Woo, 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 woo. So the last thing that I tried, if you remember, was that I sent it to swoonreads.com. So swoonreads is where the readers get to read books for free, which is really good actually. I've read a couple of books that were really nice and I would not have discovered them without Swoon Reads, so thank you Swoon Reads. So yes, you get to read the books for free and then you can rate and review them and if a book gets enough ratings and reviews that are of course good, it can get picked up by Macmillan Publishing House through Swoon Reads, which is an imprint of Macmillan. Anyways, Ashes of Legends has been up there now for about five and a half months, so almost six months, and it is a six month exclusive contract. So during the last six months, I have not been able to submit it to any agents, I have not been able to send it out to anybody, I've only been able to tell people that it's on Soon Reads, read it, check it out, check it out, check it out. Based on how it is now, it has a lot of good ratings, but because there's so many books on Soon Reads, there are other books that have, say, 200 ratings and reviews, and some have even more. There are a lot of, a lot of books there that have been there for longer than my book has been there. So. I haven't decided what I'm going to do because I can leave it up there after the six month exclusive period is done. I can leave it up there, but I've heard from people that if I'm going to start submitting it to agents again, then agents probably don't want the book out on a different platform where people can read it for free. They want to have it and read it and check it out. Like They're, they're fine with you doing spoon reads, but I think if you're going to submit to them, they would prefer for it not to be available. Right? Which makes sense. So I'm in two minds. Do I keep it up there and keep trying to attract more readers to it? Or do I take it down after the six month period is done? My readers were really great. I'm so thankful to the ones that went and read it. And if you do want to read it, it's going down soon. So please go and read it. But yeah, I'm just wondering, do I stay on and not submit? for longer or do I take it down and go back to finding new agents and trying again? Because for those of you who haven't seen my other writing journeys or you know completely new to my channel, the other agents that I got feedback from, which is amazing, if, you, if an agent gives you feedback it means that they see promise in your book. So I was very happy with my feedback. So yes, there was things that I changed and tweaked, um, but since I have done those changes and tweaks and taken the feedback, I actually haven't tried agents again. I then went to Spoon Reads because I was like, hey, readers decide and that's a fun new different way. And so now I think I'm going to take it down when the six months is over and try Agents again. But yes, if you do want to read Ashes of Legends, then please go and check it out because it's going down soon. And those are all the delicious projects that I am currently working on. I am obviously, as always, brainstorming new things, but I'm not writing anything in the brainstorming sense other than the retelling, which of course don't forget to let me know if you can figure it out. But thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed this video, then please give it a thumbs up slash like. And if you like all my other videos, then please subscribe slash follow. And until next time, I'll see you. Bye!